Hey, Love Linkers, and welcome back to The Love Link. In today's episode, the discussion will take us deep into the heart of what makes relationships tick. The art of communication, unlocking the secrets to clearer connections and building a solid foundation. Discover how to transform your relationship from static to sensational. Picture this. You're sitting across from your partner wanting to express how you feel, but the words just won't come out right. Sound familiar? Welcome to the roller coaster ride of communication in relationships. From decoding mixed signals to navigating misunderstandings, communication is the ultimate puzzle we're all trying to solve. Communication involves the exchange of information between individuals using a shared set of symbols, signs, or behaviors. It's essentially a way for people to connect and share thoughts, feelings, and ideas with each other. Actionable tip number one to strengthen your communication skills. Try practicing active listening. Make a conscious effort to listen to your partner without interrupting or formulating responses in your mind. Repeat back what you've heard to ensure understanding and validate your partner's feelings. What communication is? Honest, real understanding and relating that leads to genuine intimacy and a healthy bond between two people. Communication is not limited to just words. It goes beyond verbal expression to include nonverbal cues like body language and tone. It's not confined by gender or culture. Effective communication requires understanding and respecting diverse perspectives. It's not always positive. Sometimes it involves addressing difficult topics and navigating conflicts. It's not always easy to do effectively. It requires active listening, empathy, and a willingness to communicate openly and honestly. Lastly, it's not about isolation or avoidance. True communication involves actively engaging with your partner and being present in the relationship. Actionable tip number two. Another way to enhance communication in your relationship is to schedule regular check-ins. Set aside dedicated time each week to discuss your relationship, including any concerns, goals, or needs. This can help prevent misunderstandings and strengthen your connection. Communication possesses a multifaceted nature, capable of being wielded as both a weapon and a healer within relationships. It has the power to mend wounds and open up deep emotional connections, elevating the intimacy experienced between partners. Additionally, effective communication can transcend mere words, enhancing the physical expression of love and intimacy. Moreover, it serves as a conduit for sharing knowledge and exchanging experiences, enriching ties between individuals. Ultimately, it provides a voice to the intricate flow of emotions, allowing them to be articulated and understood through audible language. Nine myths about communication. One, communication is solely verbal. This myth suggests that communication only happens through spoken words. In reality, communication involves a complex interplay of verbal and nonverbal cues, such as body language, facial expressions, and tone of voice. Two, mind reading is possible. Some people believe that their partner should intuitively know what they're thinking or feeling without having to express it directly. However, this expectation often leads to misunderstandings and frustration, as no one can accurately read another person's mind. Conflict is always a sign of poor communication. While conflict can sometimes indicate underlying communication issues, it's not always a negative thing. Healthy relationships involve disagreements and conflicts, and how they're handled can actually strengthen communication and deepen understanding between partners. Four, communication should always be easy. Effective communication requires effort and practice. It's a skill that needs to be learned over time and even the strongest relationships experience challenges in communication from time to time. Five, talking more means better communication. Quantity doesn't always equate to quality when it comes to communication. It's not just about how much you talk, but also how well you listen, understand, and respond to your partner. Six, communication comes easily to people who have known each other a long time. While familiarity with a partner can facilitate communication in some ways, it doesn't guarantee effective communication. 
relationships evolve, and so do communication dynamics. It's essential to continually work on communication skills to maintain a strong connection. Seven, two people that speak the same language should be able to understand each other. While speaking the same language can facilitate communication, understanding goes beyond mere words. Cultural differences, personal experiences, and communication styles can influence how people interpret and express themselves. Effective communication requires active listening, empathy, and a willingness to bridge any gaps in understanding. Eight, only men like to talk dirty during sex. This myth perpetuates gender stereotypes and overlooks the diverse preferences and desires of individuals. In reality, people of all genders can enjoy and engage in verbal intimacy during sexual encounters. It's important for partners to communicate openly about their sexual preferences and boundaries. Nine, your partner should know how to sexually pleasure you just by your body language. Expecting your partner to interpret your body language perfectly during intimate moments can lead to frustration and disappointment. Effective sexual communication involves verbal and nonverbal cues, as well as explicit discussion about desires, boundaries, and preferences. Actionable tip number three. When addressing concerns or frustrations with your partner, try using I statements to promote constructive dialogue and avoid placing blame. Instead of saying you always, try saying I feel upset when, after addressing concerns or frustrations with your partner, it's essential to explore communication barriers that may be hindering your connection. Let's discuss a few common communication barriers and strategies for overcoming them. Exploring communication barriers. One, misunderstandings. Misunderstandings are common in relationships, often stemming from misinterpretations of cues or intentions. Despite our efforts, communication gaps can lead to confusion and conflict. However, by prioritizing open communication, active listening, and empathy, we can minimize misunderstandings and strengthen our connections. Let's communicate with clarity, understanding, and compassion so that we can grow through relationships with grace and resilience. Let's take a closer look at how misunderstandings can unfold in real life situations. For instance, imagine Jane plans a surprise dinner for her partner, Tom. She puts in hours of effort to create a special evening, but when Tom arrives home late from work looking exhausted, Jane misinterprets his tired demeanor as dissatisfaction with her efforts. In reality, Tom's late arrival was due to a demanding workday, not any lack of appreciation for Jane's gesture. This scenario illustrates how easily misunderstandings can occur, even with the best of intentions. Two, misinterpretations, past experiences and assumptions can confuse our interpretations even if both people mean well. But if we keep the communication lines open, show some empathy, and aren't afraid to ask for clarification, we can usually sort out these misinterpretations. It's all about building stronger connections and understanding each other better. Let's consider this example. During a conversation about future plans, Jason mentions that he's considering a job opportunity in another city. His partner, Nina, interprets this as Jason wanting to leave her behind and feels hurt and rejected. In reality, Jason is simply exploring his options and hasn't made any decisions yet. In this scenario, Nina misinterprets Jason's statement about a job opportunity, assuming it reflects his intentions regarding their relationship. This misinterpretation leads to unnecessary emotional distress and highlights the importance of clarifying intentions and assumptions in communication. Actionable tip number four. Put yourself in your partner's shoes and try to understand their perspective, even if you disagree. Empathy can help bridge communication gaps and build mutual respect and understanding. Three, emotional barriers. Emotional barriers are internal obstacles that hinder effective communication and connection in relationships. These barriers can stem from past experiences, insecurities, or fears, preventing us from expressing ourselves authentically and connecting with our partners.
listeners on a deeper level. Recognizing and overcoming these barriers are essential for building trust, intimacy, and healthy relationships. Here's an example where Maria expresses her concerns about their relationship to her partner, Mike. Instead of engaging in a meaningful conversation, he immediately shuts down and refuses to discuss the issue further. Mike's fear of vulnerability and emotional intimacy creates a barrier that prevents open communication and resolution of their issues. This example highlights how emotional barriers can hinder our ability to connect with our partners and address important issues. Actionable tip number five. If you're unsure about something your partner said or did, don't hesitate to ask for clarification. Avoid making assumptions and give your partner the opportunity to explain themselves. We've explored how misunderstandings, misinterpretations, and emotional barriers can impact our connections with our partners. And we've learned strategies to work through these challenges with clarity, empathy, and understanding. As we conclude, remember that communication is the foundation of every healthy relationship. So continue to fill your relationships with intentionality and compassion. And always come from a place of love, openness, and understanding. Be slow to anger, quick to forgive, and give grace to one another. 